In this tutorial, we'll create simple tree for our assignment. So start with the plane and divide it 2 by 3. Next, convert it to edible poly and change the shape. This will represent the profile of the base. So reshape it to your likings. Next, in front view, draw the line. This will represent the base of the tree. Next, select the profile of the tree and extrude along spline line. Change parameters to your liking. So here is my finished base. I can start adding branches or I can reshape a bit first. Next, I'll create few lines that will represent branches of the tree. So just click and draw a line. Also, I'll reset pivot point. It makes easier to adjust the position of each branch. Next, I'll switch to left view and again I'll add few more branches. And as before, I'll change the pivot point and adjust the position of each branch to my liking. When I'm happy with my overall design, I'll use extrude along spline line to create branches. Please remember, when you're using extruding along spline line, you need to choose your line each time. Otherwise, extrusion will be performed on previous selection. If you want to create additional branch with specific shape elsewhere, select polygons and click Insert Polygons button. Next, reshape your new insertion. Set up Constraint to Edge. So you change the position of each vertex, but you will preserve the overall shape. After you finish adjustments, create new line and apply extrude along spline line modifier. And here is some basic scary looking tree. Now, if you want to make this tree look smoother, you need to apply turbo smooth modifier. Next, I'll use the same technique to create roots for my tree. So keep working on it, keep adding as many branches as you like. If you want to add leaves to your tree, please use simple planes and later we'll add textures with opacity map. So you don't need to model each leaf separately. So here's scary looking tree that you can apply to your final scene. Thank you and good luck.